Yo, what's up guys, Remix here. Yep, another one. I know, I know. Calm down. <laughs> yes, it's another video on Rainbow Six that really not the gameplay. But um I was gonna mention this ages ago when I first heard about it. Yo, what's up guys, Remix here. Yep, another one. I know, I know. Calm down. <laughs> yes, it's another video on Rainbow Six that really not the gameplay. But um I was gonna mention this ages ago when I first heard about it, but I forgot, and then the next day I was gonna do it, and I forgot, and then the next day I was gonna do it, but then I didn't do it, and then the next day I was gonna do it, and, and so on and so forth. So, um, I thought while I was on the roll of, uh, handing that information, I would make a video on this as well. Um, also, if you didn't watch till the end of the last video, which I'm not surprised, um, they're releasing Valkyrie Pro. Uh, Pro League sets. Um, I don't know when that will be. That might be just when they release the next lot of characters, like for like the Pro League sets, which could be from memory. I don't think. Who doesn't have it? I forgot. Oh my god. No. Nah. All right. So whoever doesn't have a Pro League set now, we'll be getting one soon. Sometime soon. Maybe in the next two months. Maybe pushing it. Um, but at the moment they've got the Valkyrie one planned and maybe finished, and they're working on the other three. Um, but anyway, that's not what we're talking about. Um, <laughs> um, that was just if you didn't watch the last video. Um, but this one is on Alpha Packs, if you read the title. Um, aka Supply Drops, aka Loot Crates, whatever you want to call them. Um, microtransactions. But here's the thing, this is what Rainbow Six did good and I can appreciate them for, is that, ho hopefully, this is hopefully, there's two ways of going about this. Um, firstly, like you can see in the background, um, they're opening the packs, so you can see what you can get from them. You can get weapon skins, headgear, possibly uniforms, maybe charms, not 100% sure. Um, but they come in different tiers. So the items you get, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, like, and, and that's just rarity of the item or how expensive the item is. Um, so by the looks of it, you just open them up, you don't need keys, but maybe you might need like scissors or something like that to open them, you never know how stupid microtransactions get. Um, but hopefully it's not like that, hopefully you get the bag, you don't need a key or anything like that, or some super special item to open it that you have to pay for, or anything like that. Um, but you, you can get like skins in that from them. So like, I've been telling people this in game and everything. So I thought I may as well upload it. Um, but so say that the skin you want um, that you, you just really like, but you you can't save up for it because you keep spending it on operators or a different skin. And you just really want this skin. Um, you can get it from loot drops instead of having to or alpha packs. My bad. Instead of having to like say if you're a new character, like you're a new player. And you want to unlock the operators first before you get skins, but you really like the skins, but you really want an operator, <laughs> like for something new. Um, you can buy operators, and then on the other side, while you're playing the game to unlock those operators, you can be getting these loot or alpha packs to get your skins, as well at the same time you're working on getting your operators, which, by all means, I'm happy to hear that. So, like, instead of saving up, because it takes what, like, maybe two or three days to get 10,000 renown, maybe, even less, but like, then all that work's pretty much gone, three days of grinding it out to get one skin for one gun, whereas with this, you can, during that grinding time, you can be getting maybe three or four or five alpha packs a day, if you're really grinding it, um, and you can, you can be getting skins that you were saving up for initially, and then you can save that renown for something else you want, maybe you're saving for diamond cameras and you don't want to spend your renown but you're still getting skins in alpha packs which I think is really good but um, on the downside I'm just hoping that they have something to do with duplicates and they're not going to add keys or some special item to unlock them because <laughs> When it comes to big companies and giving away free stuff, uh, 
there's some stuff you can mention in that. <laughs> um, it doesn't really sit well. So, um, but I, I, I think they're going to do it right because Rainbow Six Siege has a huge player base, like a, a pretty decent and loyal fans, I can say, um, because of how good the game is. Like, I absolutely love the game. So I can imagine there's millions of other people that agree with me on that. Um, so I'd hate to see it go down the wrong path of um, you need keys or something, so you have to pay two, three dollars for a key to unlock a uh, alpha pack or something like that. But I don't think they're gonna go this way. I think as once you get that pack, you can just open it, and it might be every three, four, five games you play. So the game goes for like what half an hour. So every two or three hours, you get in the free skin, which is pretty cool. It's actually rewarding you for playing the game, which is in my opinion, awesome. Um, you can't complain, it's like free. Uh, I would also think that they would maybe do microtransactions where you can buy like in packs of three or four, five uh, alpha packs at once, like in bundles or something like that. But then I wouldn't see the point of it because you can just save up for the skins anyway. But that's the same as buying the season pass, is that you can save up for the operators in the same circumstance that you just buy them with real money. So yeah, it's a it's a yay nay situation, but it, it's personal preference. Um, so that's really all I had to say was alpha packs are coming, so okay, supply drops are coming. They're hopefully doing it right by making them free, so you don't have to unlock them with a key. And that's about all I have to say. Um, if you guys are looking for forward to them coming, so you don't have to save up your skin, like your renown to buy the skins and your headgear, leave a comment below. I, I want to hear what you guys think about it. Like, what do you think about them adding loot boxes or loot crates or whatever you want to call them to the game? Are you with it? Are you without it? Do you think that you're going to need a key to unlock the item, like to unlock the pack, or what, what's your opinion? I, I, I like hearing your